Hi, my name is TJ Singh and I'm the SIG product specialist at ENM in Southern California. Our customers have had a lot of success with the use of Flexi Loop from SIG, which basically is a safe series connection, which will allow you to connect a lot of safety sensors as well as e-stops in a safe series connection and that to maintaining the highest rating of safety along with giving you a whole bunch of diagnostics, helping you in troubleshooting, which ultimately boils down to you saving a lot of money where you do not have to run long cables to your CPU as well as saving on IO. Historically, FlexiLoop worked in conjunction with our safety controllers such as FlexiCompact. And what we do is provide you with a free platform called Safety Designer on which you can go and customize your logic as well as create a system that works for your requirements. And depending on the IO that you want for your system, we have a plenty of it. But guess what? Not all customers want so much IO and customization. What if they just wanted to use our popular Flexi Loop system without doing all the programming? And guess what? We have a new solution for it. It's called Safe Relay 3 Loop 1. And what it does is gives you a safety relay with the power of having Flexi Loop being connected to it without any programming. And only by using a simple dip switch configuration, you can have the entire configuration of the loop system set up. You also get up to 32 flexi loop nodes, which you can connect to it and you get EDM as well as reset options. Along with that, you also have two diagnostic outputs, which let you see when the relay is energized and also when there is a fault in the system. Let's jump straight into the demo. So you literally see how intuitive it is to set up this system. So here I have my demo for you guys and real quick, let me describe what it is and then we'll get into the quick configuration so you understand it's really easy to set up. So I have my new safety relay. I have two flexi loop nodes. One is connected to a non-contact safety switch and the other one is connected to a e-stop with a reset. And if you notice here, we have a bunch of dip switches and if we zoom in, I'll show you how they are configured. So this is what the side panel looks like. And as you can see, I have a whole lot of dip switches. And what they do is help you with the configuration. And you simply have to follow a top down approach. So this is for actually configuring whatever configuration you set up. But we start from here where you set up for the relay if you want to have a reset or not. And if you notice, I'm not going to connect a reset directly, so I can directly have it on auto. Next is for the loop itself. Now on my demo in the loop, I have a e-stop with a reset. So I will use a reset since I have my reset coming from, from the flexi loop. And next is the teach for either the number or the type. So now what this does is makes your system very safe. Either you can teach it the number of flexi loop nodes you have on your system, or you can tell it the type of flexi loop node you have on the system, either EMSS, which is electromechanical safety switch or your OSSD output. And that just makes it tamper proof. And in my case, I'll just go the simple route where I do number of flexi loop nodes. And once that configuration is set, all you have to do is power it on and you will notice the LEDs run and then once the configuration is set in it will show you that it's up and running and in my case if I connect the reset button and press on it you will see the en the relay energize and it's up and running already. So once we've configured everything I've turned back power on and quickly what happens, the switch is working, 
the reset light turned on. Why? Because we configured the aux out, right? And if I press on this, you will hear the relay get energized right there. And now the system is working. What happens if the actuator is taken out from the sensor? The relay de-energized. Bring back in, the reset button pops on. Press it. And that's how simple now it is to configure our flexi loops without any software, directly with dip switches, making life simple for you.